In today's video, we're gonna be talking about a handy add-on called Ampanel Subtabs, which will definitely help you increase your productivity, especially if you use a lot of add-ons. So if you're like me, who likes to use quite a lot of Blender add-ons for different use cases, then it is most likely that you have encountered the problem of having too many add-ons stacked in the M panel, which makes it very hard and almost impossible to read and locate a specific add-on that you want to use, and that can be really frustrating. So for that reason, M panel subtabs exist. From what I can see, this add-on is designed to make the process of locating and organizing your add-ons a lot easier by arranging them into multiple subtabs. These subtabs are like little folders for your tools, and you can quickly flip between them in the subtabs panel. So it is all about putting similar tools together in a category which can be really helpful. For instance, you can stick all the rigging related stuff in one place, maybe another folder for materials, and hey, another handy feature is the ability to add one add-on to multiple categories which is useful. So, the add-on is very easy and straightforward to use. After installing and activating the add-on, you will get a little icon in your Blender header interface. Clicking on it will open up a small window containing the entire add-on's interface. On this window, you can find all the tools that this add-on offers. You can add a new category by hitting the button to create a category for grouping similar tabs or workflow-related ones. And just make sure not to name it T because it is a special category name reserved for many panels used by this add-on. You can also remove a category by clicking the cross button and don't worry, it will ask for a confirmation before deleting anything, which is convenient. You can rename a category by changing the name in the category name field, and if the new name isn't okay, it will keep the original one because there are some rules for naming categories, so it checks before saving. Furthermore, you can fold or unfold categories by using the triangle button next to the categories to collapse or expand all the categories at once. You can also collapse or expand individual categories using the triangle buttons next to them. The reorder categories button opens up a dialog with a list of all the category names, enabling you to rearrange them using the up or down arrow buttons, so it is just about the order of the category names, not the details inside them. This, in addition to the ability to change the categories and the add-ons order, you can adjust preferences like how many tabs you want in each row or the subtabs panel, as well as the pop-over width, which is pretty neat. Another interesting thing is the ability to import and export your settings to JSON files, which will help you import and export your custom categories. This allows you to preserve your custom subcategories so that you don't have to do all the manual work when updating Blender or when switching to another computer. You can also exclude certain tabs from being affected by the add-on, and you can also decide if the add-on automatically activates when starting the software and even set a delay for it. So guys, if you are interested in this add-on, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, you can also subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.